What does PIP stand for? Now you have to excuse my French accent, but it is basically it uh, is poly implant prosthesis, um, which uh, is uh, obviously French and is just the name for the company which made the PIP implants. Um, it doesn't really mean anything in particular, it's just the name of the implants. The PIP implants were used um, uh, from the foundation of the company back in 1991 till 2011 when it went into liquidation. The company is relatively small, so unlike other companies such as Allegan, um, which is a big American uh, company which also makes uh, uh, Botox um, and is a really big company, the, uh, with, the PIP company was relatively small. So when the problems with the PIP uh, came out, the company went into liquidation. And this is why sometimes we recommend Allegan or bigger company implants because if there is ever a problem with the implants, the company can't really go into liquidation because it's a big uh, company um, and you will have much more recourse to um, you know, having your problem with your implants um, uh, put right. Um, so essentially uh, PIP implants doesn't really mean anything, it's just the name for the type of implants used and it was a pretty much a small company in France uh, which made these um, uh, implants and they were used extensively in the United Kingdom um, and throughout the uh, 2001 to 2010 because some of the uh, major companies which perform a lot of uh, breast enlargements use predominantly these uh, implants. If you'd like any more information about PIP implants including videos of people who've had uh, them removed um, and videos of me performing the operation, if you'd like to see a gel bleed or what a ruptured implant looks like please have a look at the link below and it will take you through to our website where you'll be able to find all this information.